Hi guys, Fly Girl Fitness, uh, Lindsay coming into you with my um, two and a half year post-op VSG um, update. I'm going to do a super quick update and then I'm going to make two separate videos for questions. I actually got so many questions and they're all so super good that I just don't want to make a 45 minute video. Um, I think it's easier to break it up and then, you know, watch as you want or whatever. So um, super fast, my updates um, aren't great this week, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I had... Um, Surgery. So, and actually, let me get into the surgery thing because I had surgery Thursday, December fifth, two thousand thirteen, with Dr. J. J. and Legacy at Legacy Good Samaritan Hospital. But today's not the fifth. Today's the second, right? But it's Thursday. So week wise, it's my two and a half year post op. But date wise, I'm three days shy. Does that make sense? So anyway, I'm just doing it all today. Um. So I weighed in at the two-week pre-op diet at 301.2. I weighed in day of surgery at 291.8. I weighed in last week at 210.6. I weighed in today at 211.4. That is the highest weight that I've seen since I had regain. Um, and it's 110% completely my fault. Um, I would say in the last um, six days, not including today and yesterday because I'm on track again, um, but probably six days before that, um, <laughs> I partied hard. I had um, a time, actually, probably longer than six days, probably closer to eight days, because I went on a wine tasting. So it was Nashville, it's like three weeks ago. Um, then the weekend after that, I went to Lake Chelan with another couple friend um, and my fiance, and all we did was wine taste. We ate pretty clean because I brought all of our food and we made burgers, and you know I don't um, didn't have the bun, and I had chicken salad and cheese and crackers and fruit and things like that. So um, we ate pretty clean, but um, and Kent and I split any food that we had out. So. Uh, there was that, but then uh, we bought a bunch of wine and came back and proceeded to spend the whole week drinking it, and then last weekend, I went um, to a winery, which the wine there wasn't good, but I still had some. Um, sorry, I've got some allergies going on, um, and I, I was kind of the designated driver, so I didn't drink a lot, but I did um, seem to eat quite a bit there. They had barbecue. It was so good, and I had the weirdest experience. Um, I'll get to that in a minute, but uh, so we partied a little bit there and then I came home Sunday afternoon and I went to the, um, a couple places store wise, like new seasons in this place called pasta works. And I got fresh pasta and I made, um, came home and we ate, drink wine and I made chicken, like a health, healthy, um, chicken parm. And we made fresh, like fresh pasta, like fresh cut that day pasta, um, with sauce and, um, yeah, it was just so good. But then Monday, cause it was a holiday. We sat around all day. Like I was, I was doing the day drunk thing. It was so fun <laughs> and so needed. And so Monday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we just like ate and drank so much. It was a blast. And I kind of feel like I got out of my system. And so now like today, June, yesterday, June 1st, back on track. Um, I started that thing with Tessa. I think I told you guys about last week. So that is, uh, good. Yeah. So a um, couple other things on that front. So um, the number I know is a lot of bloat. I, I, I feel like my number is more accurate at 208, which is still higher than I was six weeks ago. It's 202. Four, week, four and a half weeks ago is 202. So um, or five. Yeah, five weeks, I guess. So I am back on my macros, um, working on just a more balanced um, protein, high protein, um, about 1250 calories. Um, moderate carbs and low, lower fat. Um, and that doesn't mean I eat low fat foods. I don't believe in low fat foods. So, um, and I'll get into some of that with these questions. So really good questions. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, other things going on with me, it hit me that I am getting married in four months. <sighs> oh my God. I feel so unprepared, even though like I've done so much planning and almost everything is planned and my invitations are put together and ready to go out and the shower date is picked and the bachelorette party date is picked and, um, um, you know, I really just have to figure out flowers and centerpieces, like everything else, all the gifts are bought, all the, um, um, my dress is done. I have it here. It's, it's, it's crazy, <laughs> but uh, all of a sudden it's like, uh, it's 
just insane. So um, four months is not a lot of time. Also, a very dear friend of mine is gifting me um, our honeymoon destination um, accommodations. So she's got a timeshare and she's giving it to us. And so we picked um, that out this yesterday. Um, we've been spending a couple weeks like on the website looking. And so that's really exciting. So we've um, it's different than our original honeymoon destination. We were going to go to Maui and we have a honey fund and all of that in terms of our registry for that. And that's still we're still going to do that as our like as another I guess another honeymoon because the other one's going to be more local um but it's still going to be I mean it's still like I guess it's about a 10 hour drive so we'll it will take about eight days to go and do that and see a part of the country I haven't seen which is going to be amazing but um we're going to Panorama Canada um in April and that was when we were originally going to go to Maui but I think we're going to do Maui either at the end of this year or financially probably um because it's our registry um we it, depending on how that goes um we may go the following year because I don't think we could afford to do it on our own. So anyway, that's going to be exciting because we have a house, so we didn't register for guests or anything. But um, so, yeah, we'll go into Canada in April and then we have WLSFA in May and we're not going to do the um, Alaskan cruise because it's like I thought it was a couple hundred dollars cheaper than it was. And I just can't we can't afford it. So we are not doing that just as an FYI. We are not doing the Alaskan cruise unless I come into money. <laughs> Um, and then probably Maui in the winter, late fall next year. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, oh, and my plan. So I'm doing the macros. Um, I have, uh, still going to physical therapy for my ankle and my back. So I haven't really been to the gym. Um, I am going to be doing some shoveling and stuff. That's probably not going to be very good for either of those things this weekend, but that's going to be kind of my primary exercise for the next few days as we've got, um, a lot of, of housework and, um, cleaning up of the yard and things like that, that we're going to be doing this weekend. Um, it's going to be really hot too. So, you know, um, yeah. And I've got some wedding crafting going on, um, Sunday. And then Monday, I plan on um, hitting the gym again and starting to just get back into a routine since it's been about it's been about a month. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my just post-op update. Um, I leave for Boston next Wednesday night, so I will see Lauren Dayton next Thursday morning. So one week from today, I will be there. In fact, at this time, 24 hours from the, or 20. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? One week from right now at this time, I will actually be in a meeting <laughs> at work. So that sucks that I have to, like, get off the plane at 630 in the morning, drive to um, they're going to pick me up and then be like, okay, nice to see you. I got a call into a work meeting. Boo. But that's okay. She, we, I have to work the whole week. So it's like, we're just going to be hanging out. I'm super stoked though. I'm super excited. Um, let's see. I think that's it in terms of updates. So, um, kind of just reiterating my message from last week. I'm not giving up. Um, my friend Tessa said something that's really stuck with me, which is I didn't come this far just to come this far. So, um, yeah. And of course, Lauren's been a huge inspiration to me. Like, obviously, I mean, and I say this obviously, like, but it's not that obvious, but I will never be as small as Lauren. I mean, she's petite and much smaller framed. Um, and, and that's not my goal, but, um, like I know that I need to be in the best position possible to get my own plastics. And that's always been on my, um, agenda, especially the arm left. Like that is definitely, um, but there's still quite a bit of fat in there. So, you know, I'd like to lose 30 pounds, at least be down to where I was, um, two years, you know, two years ago, um, or last, I'm sorry, last summer, um, at, you know, 181 or whatever, and try to get in that range before I, um, commit to plastics and then probably do boobs and belly. If I can get down a little bit lower than that, maybe one, 170 or 160. So that's the goal. Um, I got a long ways to go. I got a shit ton of stuff to do and it's kind of a weird conundrum because I really can't lose that much weight between now and October, like I could probably get away with 20 pounds, but you know, I mean, if anybody follows me, like I don't lose weight very easily. Um, and so it's not likely that I'll lose even 20 pounds, but like, I really couldn't lose more <laughs> than that. Um, because I, they can take the dress down like a size, but like, it's perfect the way it is. And I need to probably lose 10 pounds just to fit into it very well. But if I lose much more than 20, um, or 25, then like it, you know, they can do all the stuff, but it's like that stresses me out. So, um, maybe that's an excuse. I don't know, but I don't want, I, the dress is a 14. It fits tight. 
it fits well, but it's tight. Um, so I'd like to lose 10 pounds just to have a little bit more space in the dress. Um, uh, but I don't really want them to take it in too much. Like, I don't know. So anyway, uh, that's just in the back of my head, but I'm not going to let that deter me too much. Okay. So I'm going to stop this at 10 minutes, um, as my general update. And I'm going to jump into the questions, um, question and answer session of, um, the agenda and, um, go from there. Okay. See you guys.